Lady Lazarus, is a poem written by the American poet Sylvia Plath. It was first published posthumously in 1965 as part of her poetry collection titled, Ariel. The poem is known for its intense and vivid imagery, as well as its exploration of themes such as death, resurrection, and the struggle for identity. The title, Lady Lazarus, alludes to the biblical figure Lazarus, who was raised from the dead by Jesus Christ. Plath uses this biblical reference to explore her own experiences with death and rebirth. The poem is often considered a reflection of Plath's personal struggles with mental health and her complex relationship with death. In, Lady Lazarus, Plath describes a series of suicide attempts and the subsequent resurrections, portraying herself as a kind of, resurrected, woman who defies death. The poem delves into themes of pain, suffering, and the desire for control over one's own life and death. Plath's distinctive voice and powerful use of language contribute to the emotional impact of the poem. Lady Lazarus is one of Sylvia Plath's most well-known and analyzed works, and it remains an important piece of literature in discussions about mental health, identity, and the human experience. Sylvia Plath 1932-1963 was an American poet, novelist, and short story writer, known for her confessional style of writing and her exploration of themes related to mental illness, feminism, and the struggles of identity. Here are some key points about her life. Early life. Sylvia Plath was born on October 27, 1932, in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. She showed literary talent from a young age and won various awards for her writing during her school years. Academic achievements. Plath was an exceptional student and received a scholarship to attend Smith College. She excelled academically and continued to pursue her passion for writing. Marriage and family. In 1956, Sylvia Plath married the British poet Ted Hughes. The couple had two children, Frida and Nicholas. Plath's marriage to Hughes was tumultuous, marked by infidelity and conflicts. Poetic career. Plath's poetry often dealt with personal experiences, emotions, and mental health struggles. Her poetry is characterized by its vivid imagery, intense emotions, and confessional style. Her first poetry collection, Colossus, was published in 1960. The Bell Jar Plath also wrote a semi-autobiographical novel, The Bell Jar, which was published under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas in 1963, just before her death. The novel explores the challenges faced by a young woman, much like Plath herself, dealing with mental illness. Mental health struggles. Sylvia Plath battled with depression and underwent periods of hospitalization. Her struggles with mental health are evident in many of her works, including her poetry. Death. Sylvia Plath died by suicide on February 11, 1963, at the age of 30. Her death became a subject of much discussion, and it added to the tragic aura surrounding her life and work. Legacy. Despite her relatively short life, Sylvia Plath's work has had a lasting impact on literature. Her poetry is celebrated for its honesty, intensity, and skillful use of language. Plath's posthumously published collection, Ariel, which includes, Lady Lazarus, is considered one of her most significant works. Sylvia Plath's life and work continue to be studied and appreciated for their contribution to the literary exploration of personal experiences and the human psyche. Lady Lazarus, by Sylvia Plath is a confessional poem that delves into themes of death, resurrection, and the complexities of identity. The poem is often interpreted as a reflection of Plath's personal struggles with mental health and her tumultuous relationship with death. Here's a summary of the poem, section by section. Stanzas 1 to 6. The poem begins with a speaker who announces her ability to rise from the dead, likening herself to the biblical figure Lazarus. The speaker describes the process of her own death, the reactions of those around her, and her ability to come back to life. There's a sense of defiance and triumph in her ability to resurrect herself, highlighting themes of control and empowerment. Stanzas 7 to 17. The speaker reflects on the public fascination with her repeated attempts at suicide and her subsequent resurrections. The language becomes more intense and grotesque, describing the physical and emotional toll of her experiences. Plath uses vivid and sometimes disturbing imagery to convey the speaker's pain and the voyeuristic curiosity of the public. Stanzas 18 to 28. The poem takes a turn as the speaker addresses a hypothetical audience, challenging them to a duel of sorts. She declares her resilience and the inevitability of her return, emphasizing her ability to overcome death. The imagery becomes increasingly violent and confrontational, expressing the speaker's defiance in the face of societal expectations and pressures.
Stanzas 29 to 34. The final stanzas shift to a more introspective tone. The speaker reflects on her changing physical appearance, acknowledging the impact of time and the toll of her experiences on her body. Despite the external decay, there is a sense of internal strength and determination. The poem concludes with a powerful assertion of the speaker's will to live, suggesting that she will continue to rise from the ashes. In Lady Lazarus, Plath uses powerful and vivid language to explore the themes of death, rebirth, and the struggle for control over one's own destiny. The poem is a complex and emotional journey that invites readers to contemplate the intersections of identity, mortality, and the human experience. Lady Lazarus, by Sylvia Plath explores several prominent themes, and each theme is depicted through powerful imagery and language. Here are some key themes from the poem with examples. Death and Rebirth. Example. Out of the ash I rise with my red hair, and I eat men like air. In this example, the speaker emphasizes her ability to rise from the ashes, portraying death as a transformative process leading to rebirth. The imagery of consuming men like air adds a sense of power and control. Identity and self-expression. Example. And I a smiling woman. The poem grapples with the speaker's identity and the public's perception of her. The contrast between the public spectacle and the private, smiling woman hints at the complexity of identity and the masks people wear. Societal expectations and rebellion. Example. And like the cat I have nine times to die. The speaker challenges societal expectations and norms by comparing herself to a cat with multiple lives. The act of dying and resurrecting multiple times serves as a rebellion against the conventional expectations placed upon her. Public versus private life. Example. A sort of walking miracle, my skin bright as a Nazi lampshade. The speaker exposes the invasion of her private struggles as a public spectacle. The mention of the Nazi lampshade evokes a disturbing image, highlighting the dehumanizing nature of public scrutiny. Feminism and empowerment. Example. And I a smiling woman, I am only 30. Plath addresses feminist themes, with the speaker reclaiming her identity as a woman and asserting herself in the face of societal expectations. The declaration of age suggests an affirmation of womanhood and the right to define oneself. Mortality and decay. Example. And the villagers never liked you. They are dancing and stamping on you. The poem explores the inevitable decay of the body and the impact of mortality. The vivid imagery of villagers dancing and stamping on the speaker's remains conveys the harsh reality of death and the lack of empathy from society. Control and defiance. Example. Hair God, Hair Lucifer, beware, beware. The speaker addresses higher powers and warns them to beware. This reflects a sense of defiance and a struggle for control over her own destiny, challenging external forces that may seek to dominate or oppress. Lady Lazarus is a rich and complex poem that weaves together these themes, creating a narrative that invites readers to contemplate the human condition, the struggles of identity, and the complexities of life and death. Lady Lazarus, by Sylvia Plath has been the subject of extensive critical analysis, with scholars and literary critics examining various aspects of the poem. Here are some key points often discussed in critical analyses of Lady Lazarus. Confessional Poetry Lady Lazarus is often cited as an exemplary work of confessional poetry, a genre in which poets explore intensely personal and often autobiographical themes. Plath, along with other poets like Robert Lowell and Anne Sexton, is considered a pioneer of confessional poetry. Mental Health and Personal Struggles Critics often interpret the poem as a reflection of Sylvia Plath's own struggles with mental health, as she battled depression and underwent periods of hospitalization. The poem is seen as a raw and honest exploration of the psychological and emotional challenges she faced. Imagery and Symbolism Plath's use of vivid and often shocking imagery is a focal point in critical discussions. The poem is rich with symbolic elements, such as the repeated references to resurrection, the cat with nine lives, and the Nazi lampshade. These symbols contribute to the overall impact and depth of the poem. Feminist Interpretations Lady Lazarus is often analyzed through a feminist lens, with scholars examining how Plath engages with issues related to gender, identity, and societal expectations. The poem can be seen as a feminist statement, with the speaker reclaiming her identity and defying traditional roles imposed on women. Biographical Context Critics often consider the biographical context of Sylvia Plath's life, particularly her tumultuous marriage to Ted Hughes. 
Some argue that the poem reflects Plath's feelings of victimization and the struggle for autonomy in the face of external pressures. Duality of public and private selves. The poem explores the tension between the public persona and the private self. The speaker is both a public spectacle, with her repeated deaths and resurrections, and a private, smiling woman. This duality is often analyzed in relation to Plath's own experiences in the public eye. Language and style. Plath's use of language, including her vivid and sometimes grotesque imagery, is a subject of critical examination. The poem's intense and emotional language contributes to its impact and makes it a powerful piece in the realm of confessional poetry. Existential and religious themes. Lady Lazarus, engages with existential themes, contemplating the meaning of life and the individual's struggle against mortality. The poem also incorporates religious imagery, especially with the reference to Lazarus, raising questions about faith and divine intervention. Overall, critical analyses of Lady Lazarus often focus on its emotional intensity, autobiographical elements, and the broader themes it explores, making it a significant work in the context of both Sylvia Plath's body of work and the broader literary landscape. A critical appreciation of Lady Lazarus involves recognizing and examining the various literary and artistic elements that contribute to the poem's depth and impact. Here are some aspects to appreciate in Sylvia Plath's Lady Lazarus. Imagery and Symbolism Plath's use of vivid and striking imagery is a standout feature of the poem. The images of resurrection, ash, and the grotesque portrayals of death contribute to the poem's emotional intensity. The symbolism of the cat with nine lives and the Nazi lampshade adds layers of meaning, inviting readers to delve into the rich tapestry of the poem. Confessional Style Lady Lazarus is a prime example of confessional poetry, a genre in which poets delve into personal experiences and emotions. Plath's unflinching honesty and the rawness of her self-disclosure create a powerful connection with readers. The poem serves as a window into the poet's inner world, providing an intimate and unfiltered exploration of her struggles. Duality and Complexity The poem explores the duality of the public and private selves, showcasing the complexities of identity. The contrast between the spectacle of the speaker's deaths and resurrections and the private, smiling woman adds layers to the narrative. Plath's ability to navigate these complexities with nuance contributes to the poem's richness. Feminist Themes Lady Lazarus can be appreciated for its feminist undertones, as the speaker asserts her identity and challenges societal expectations. Plath, as a female poet in the mid-20th century, addresses issues related to gender roles and autonomy. The poem becomes a powerful expression of female agency and defiance. Tension and Conflict the poem is marked by a palpable tension and conflict, both in its content and language. The speaker's struggle against societal expectations, the battle for control, and the defiance against external forces create a sense of urgency and emotional intensity. Plath's skill in capturing these internal and external conflicts contributes to the poem's impact. Religious and Existential Exploration Plath's incorporation of religious themes, particularly the reference to Lazarus, adds depth to the poem. The exploration of existential questions, such as the meaning of life and the individual's confrontation with mortality, gives the poem a philosophical dimension. Readers can appreciate the thought-provoking nature of these thematic elements. Language and Craftsmanship Plath's command of language and poetic craftsmanship is evident throughout the poem. Her use of metaphor, simile, and vivid descriptions showcases her skill as a poet. The careful choice of words contributes to the poem's emotional resonance and creates a lasting impact on the reader. In conclusion, a critical appreciation of Lady Lazarus involves recognizing Sylvia Plath's artistic prowess, her willingness to explore deeply personal themes, and the poem's contribution to the broader literary landscape. The emotional depth, thematic complexity, and the interplay of various literary elements make Lady Lazarus a poem worthy of careful analysis and appreciation. Setting. The setting of Lady Lazarus is not explicitly defined in terms of a physical location or time. Instead, the poem's setting is primarily psychological and emotional. The speaker takes the reader on a journey through the intensely personal and internal landscapes of life, death, and rebirth. The absence of a specific external setting allows the poem to transcend literal boundaries and engage with universal themes. Tone. The tone of Lady Lazarus is complex and multifaceted. It can be characterized by elements of defiance, bitterness, sarcasm, and a sense of triumph. 
The speaker confronts the challenges of mortality and societal expectations with a mixture of anger and resilience. The tone shifts throughout the poem, reflecting the speaker's evolving emotions as she grapples with her experiences. The overall tone, however, is one of intense emotion and a refusal to be defeated. Writing Style Sylvia Plath's writing style in Lady Lazarus is characterized by its vivid imagery, powerful language, and confessional nature. The poem is part of the confessional poetry movement, where poets explore personal and often painful experiences. Plath's style is marked by a raw and unfiltered honesty, using striking metaphors and symbols to convey complex emotions. The poem is composed in free verse, allowing for a natural and unrestrained flow of language. Genre Lady Lazarus is often categorized within the genre of confessional poetry. This genre emerged in the mid-20th century and is characterized by poets revealing intimate aspects of their personal lives and experiences. The confessional poets, including Sylvia Plath, often explore themes such as mental health, identity, and relationships. Additionally, the poem can be seen as part of the broader genre of lyric poetry, which traditionally expresses personal emotions and thoughts in a reflective manner. In summary, Lady Lazarus creates a psychological setting, employs a tone of intense emotion and defiance, showcases Plath's confessional writing style, and fits within the genres of confessional and lyric poetry. The combination of these elements contributes to the poem's powerful impact and its enduring place in the realm of contemporary literature. Sylvia Plath is widely recognized as one of the most influential and celebrated poets of the 20th century. Here are some key aspects of Sylvia Plath's role as a poet. Confessional Poetry Pioneer Sylvia Plath is often associated with the confessional poetry movement, which emerged in the 1950s and 1960s. This style involves poets exploring deeply personal and often autobiographical themes in their work. Plath's willingness to confront her own experiences with mental health, marriage, and identity places her among the pioneers of this confessional approach. Intense and Vivid Imagery Plath's poetry is characterized by its intense and vivid imagery. She had a remarkable ability to use language to paint powerful pictures, creating a visceral experience for readers. Her poems often contain striking metaphors and symbols that enhance the emotional impact of her work. Exploration of Mental Health Plath's struggles with mental health, including depression and suicidal thoughts, are central themes in her poetry. She approached these topics with a frankness that was groundbreaking at the time, contributing to a more open dialogue about mental health in literature. Feminism and Gender Identity Plath's poetry often reflects her exploration of feminist themes and her experiences as a woman in the mid-20th century. Her work delves into the complexities of gender roles, societal expectations, and the challenges faced by women. Ariel, the posthumously published collection containing Lady Lazarus, is particularly known for its feminist undertones. Influence of Mythology and Religion Plath drew inspiration from mythology and religious imagery in her poetry. The use of figures like Lazarus, as in, Lady Lazarus, reflects her interest in exploring existential and spiritual themes. Her engagement with these elements adds depth and complexity to her poetic narratives. Literary Craftsmanship Plath was a skilled and innovative poet, showcasing a command of language and form. Her use of free verse and experimentation with poetic techniques demonstrate her ability to craft poems that are both emotionally resonant and artistically sophisticated. Posthumous Recognition Sylvia Plath's reputation as a poet has only grown since her death. While she faced challenges and criticism during her lifetime, her work has been increasingly appreciated for its literary significance. Ariel, The Colossus, and her novel, The Bell Jar, continue to be studied and celebrated in academic and literary circles. Legacy and Impact Plath's influence extends beyond her own lifetime. Her impact on contemporary poetry and the confessional genre is profound, with many poets citing her as an inspiration. Plath's legacy also includes her contribution to discussions around mental health, feminism, and the exploration of the human psyche through poetry. In summary, Sylvia Plath's role as a poet is marked by her innovative approach to confessional poetry, her powerful use of imagery, and her exploration of themes related to mental health, feminism, and existentialism. Her work continues to resonate with readers and remains a significant part of the literary canon.